is in Aros. Swaz Verla Meat Bags. How the hell are ya? So after about 1 million goddamn requests, I will finally cover your favorite mummy boy, Inaros. Allow me to dispense with the pleasantries and get straight into the nitty gritty. You can acquire this punk by purchasing his quest, Sands of Inaros from Baroki tier. So good luck with that. Anubis Prime's passive ability is called Undying which at first glance is a bad joke. However there are a few perks to it. First off, if you die as sad boy, you will transition into a sarcophagus. During this time you can devour enemy scum and revive yourself. Sounds pretty cool right? Well think again cause here is the thing, the only way you can revive yourself is if you successfully devour two enemies. In easy terms, you must kill two enemies with this ability to be revived. The problem however is that the damage you deal is based off of a percentage of the enemy's max health and shields. Which is bullshit to say the least since you will never ever succeed with this at higher levels. Unless you are up against enemies that are about as gangsta as Ricky Martin. However, if your teammates kill the enemies that you are attempting to leech off of, their deaths will count. So in other words, if your squad is not a bunch of douchebags, they could successfully revive your punk ass. Sure, you could increase your damage with the mod nobody has ever heard of, provoked. The difference is hardly noticeable though. So don't even bother. There is one more neat trick you can try to exploit here though. If you use weapons or mods from the Steel Meridian Syndicate that proc justice, Inaros will instantly be revived. This is a gamble indeed but can't hurt to exploit it to gain a chance to self-revive. Furthermore, Sandy Zombie Boy will gain 20% of his max health back for every standing finisher move you do. So any dagger with covert lethality will be great but any hammer will do the trick as well since hammers have insane finisher damage to begin with. That said, let's have a look at his first ability. Desiccation Inero's cause plays that creepy German sand man that tosses sand in children's face to make them sleep. Not even gonna lie, that's fucking disturbing. Anyway, this ability is straightforward. Cast it to blind dummies in a cone shape before you. This will open them up to finishers. Which is worth gold since it's a quick and cheap means of crowd control. You should be spamming the shit out of this ability to completely negate all incoming frontal damage. Just keep in mind that it will only blind enemies that are actually looking at you. Which is by no means a deal breaker. This night quill sand will also go through walls for some reason. And yes, there is a minimal lifesteal element here but you can completely dismiss that since it's as close to insignificant as it gets. You better off just killing the blinded enemies to gain massive health back in an instant. So there is that. Next up. Devour. I do not know what the hell is going on here but somebody called the FBI. This perverted action is pretty straightforward but you can abuse it cleverly and make the most out of it. First off, when casting on an enemy mummy boy will trap an enemy in quicksand and disable them entirely for 30 seconds. Which translates into easy peasy cheap crowd control. You can and probably should abuse this ability to make annoying enemies shut up for a hot minute and give your squad a break. Thanks to a very fast casting speed you can even shut up not little enemies fairly quickly. I guess this freakazoid zombie Anubis likes it lewd. Anyway, if you cast on an enemy by holding the cast button, you will pull the enemy to your location and then automatically devour them. Which will do two things. 1. It will regenerate your health and 2. It will make you unkillable for the duration of the devour. Just keep in mind that while you are dragging your victim towards you, you will take damage normally. 
so I'd highly recommend to get fairly close to your target before reeling them in since you might otherwise create a death trap for yourself. If you tap the ability on a fool, you will not be able to pull them anymore but you can walk up to them and devour them anyway. Same goes for your teammates. After trapping a mofo in your pervy sand, all allies can devour them as well to regain health just like in Uros. So you should consider spamming this ability from time to time to make sure that there are always health stations around. If your teammates don't use them then fuck it. Let them die. That's not your fault. One last thing about devour. If you kill an enemy while devouring, they will turn into a sand clone that will last for as long as it took you to devour them. This sounds great on paper but is sadly actually useless since you will never succeed to devour high level enemies anyway. Just saying. Next up. The Reaper Hunter's favorite song. Sandstorm. In Arrows turns into a dusty ass Tasmanian devil and cosplays the whirly early from Rick and Morty. In all honesty this ability kinda sucks but you can use it as a bit of a panic button. Especially if you build in Arrows specifically for that reason. So here is the 411, Sandstorm will lift enemies from the ground and deal slash damage to flying monkey enemies for as long as active. Furthermore, while in fidget spinner mode, in arrows will take reduced damage. However I would not count on that if I were you because ultimately this can be a death trap. The default diameter here is 15 meters. So 7 and a half meters in every direction. Which is essentially nothing. Now here is the trick though, you could use this ability to distract and crowd control assholes surrounding a down teammate for example. Adding a little bit of range can go a long way here. If you have Hunter Adrenaline or Rage equipped, taking damage while spinning will replenish your energy. So theoretically you could be a stupid tornado forever. Another need synergy you should most definitely exploit at this point is this, enemies trapped in quicksand by your second ability will be automatically devoured in your dirty tornado. So in short, your can replenish massive health while you whirly early around and thus avoid death to some extent. If you happen to kill an enemy with the dusty tornado, that enemy will also become a sand shadow. Which you will never achieve at high level anyway so don't mind that. That's pretty much all there is to it. Next up. Neurodermatitis Rhino. Okay now listen here. This ability is kinda weird some of you tend to get it twisted so let me slap you with the knowledge. Primarily this ability is used to drain your health for exchange of more armor by holding the ability button. That's a slippery slope since more armor is great and all but it won't do shit for you if you do not have the health to back it up. On top of that, the bonus armor of 100% at max charge will only affect your base armor. So no matter how strong you modify your sandy pants, you will not ever gain more than 200 extra armor. Sounds pretty lame right? Well hold your horses because there is more to it. You see, you can cast your 4 on enemies and incapacitate them, them with horny beetles. These beetles will deal corrosive damage to their victims and regain you and your sissy squad mates health over time. Furthermore, the beetles will spread and affect nearby enemies if they are within range. Doing this will cost you a bit of energy but also 25% of your bonus armor. Which means you can cast it on up to 4 enemies if your armor bonus is maxed at 100%. Now since we have established that the bonus armor gain from this shit is not really worth your time, you really do not need to fear spamming 4 on enemies in clusters. This is a very effective way to crowd control a lot of punks and help keep your team alive. So that's pretty much all you need to know to use this shit effectively. Here is my build amusing. Now of course you can say that this build is shit, but luckily your opinion does not matter. Sorry bro. 
As you can see, I could add some more forma and finish this up nicely but what can I say, I am a lazy twop and will wait for Inero's prime to go all out. In all honesty, Inero's is a god with pretty much any build so you can really go wrong. So you can and should play around with this build and then find a tweak that works best for you. For me, this build right here works just fine and is enough to take me to end game with little effort. So let's recap the play style. Spam your first ability to blind enemies as much as possible and reduce incoming damage for your entire squad. Use a heavy weapon if not covert lethality daggers to kill blinded enemies and thus keep regenerating your health pool. Drop your second every so often to incapacitate dangerous enemies and give your team free health stations. Ignore the whirly dirly fidget spinner unless you need the panic button and finally charge your beetle armor and use it to crowd control large groups of douchebags and Regan health on a massive scale. So there you have it. How to not be a shit in Euros. You're welcome. Now like and subscribe to this shitty channel and fuck off.